world's greatest living artist, and the crowd goes wild. Wah, wah. Craziness. How's it going, everybody? This is Jose Trujillo, world's greatest, world's greatest living artist, coming to you from the art studio. Um, he's just gonna join us in a little bit. Having a little bit of um, I don't know. I've been, I've been hungry lately. How's it going, guys? Today's Thursday cafecito. Thursday cafecito. Get your, get your coffee on. Get your coffee ready. Mmm. Let's do this. It can't be Thursday cafecito without the beautiful said. What? Where? Ah. Oh my God! What? <laughs> Come on, guys! It's time for Thursday cafecito. Get ready. Coffee on Thursday. Mm. I froze the top of my coffee on accident. You froze the top of your coffee? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Well, because I, I put it in the freezer. It's alright. I like it. It'll be like a frap, but not. A frap? Yeah. Mm hmm. So, what are we talking about today? Well, first, first of all, before we go into what are we talking about today, we wanted to uh, just be uh, grateful. You know that you guys are like showing up. You guys are kicking it with us. I know a lot of you guys have expressed this stuff when I upload it on YouTube and whatnot. But they're grateful. They're cool. They're happy. Oh, yay. You know, they, uh, they love what we're doing. They love what this whole thing is about. And I think that, I don't know, I think it's pretty cool. So I wanted to give you guys a shout out. Thank you. Yeah, guys, thanks. So, here's the thing, guys. Today, we talk about, I'm sorry, I'm eating, but yeah, I have no. to. Whatever. We're talking about how we work in a partnership. The whole thing about partnerships. Yeah. How we deal with it, the studio. Yeah. Because it's painful working with her, guys. It's painful. It just hurts. It just hurts so much. <laughs> Just joking. It's a blessing <laughs> in disguise. <laughs> it's really cool, guys. It's it's uh, it's uh, I mean, it's really fun. You know, you you show up to the studio. I get to like be like, hey, baby, what's up? What are you doing today? You know, yeah. Packaging work. She shows up to the where you know to the. I come with coffee in the mornings too. after school drop off. Yeah, I'm come, always grateful for that. Gifts. I'm always very grateful for that. So guys, do you guys work with someone else? Do you guys have a partner? Do you guys are you married? Are you are you uh, maybe not married? You're in a relationship? In some yeah, sort of partnership? Yeah, what are things that are important to you when it comes to being able to create your artwork and how life is impacted by that? Right. Well, in a partnership. Mm -hmm. In a partnership. How do you how do you guys handle? Working together, do you have to like work for a little bit and then just split a little bit and be like, dude, too much already? I can't hang out with you today because she does that to me. She'll be like, I gotta go to Target when she tells me that is that I've overwhelmed the hell out of her already. <laughs> yeah, no, I mean, artists, I think you guys get like, and I, I often wonder how you unplug because you're like, sometimes you think like miles a minute. I don't unplug, baby. I live plugged in. <clears throat> Got it. <laughs> I can't unplug. I'm not. A, I'm not a. I'm not a. What do you call it? Those things that are in the kitchen. I don't think we have anyone watching us, actually. Yeah, we do. Yeah. Got it. Don't say that. I don't dude. know. Why would you say that? Well, I don't know how this works. Well, I haven't truly figured out how it works. No, we have enough people watching. Yeah, I don't care if it's one or it's a thousand. It's all the same. It's gente. Pecho a pecho, mano a mano, people to people. Well, I would love to hear other people's experiences about how they work um, in with their partners and how they. I mean, do you guys utilize that? I don't. They want to hear our experience. In creating and creating. Do we utilize what? Like your experiences with us. Like, do we? Does our energy zap you? 
what are some things that you find as an artist are like important like things that you have to you, you need help you need help i think that the most important thing is that you need help whether you live with your mommy your daddy your auntie your uncle whoever i think everybody needs help and the the, the whether they're helping you in the studio or not or not they need you need support is what i'm trying to say mm -hmm. not necessarily physical you need support you need people what has been the most helpful thing that you feel you've gotten from me in terms of support like in terms of everything that we've done here you're always your pushing career. me to do more and i think that that is invaluable is that how you say it mm -hmm. or, yeah invaluable Mm -hmm. When you when when you have someone next to you that's not telling you that's not complaining at you and be like you're working too much oh my god are you gonna work again oh my god see her dad's an entrepreneur yes so she knows she knows what it means to pull lots of hours and work weekends and then work till your eyeballs are bleeding my dad's actually had his company for it will be thirty eight years yeah good and thriving. Yeah. Good and thriving. 38. But yes, my dad was always working. Mm -hmm. Always. He showed up when it was important. Like, I don't have memories of him not being there. No. Yep. But I know that he was always like... Like, I did swim team for a decade. And he would come to, like, the meets. Like, the big meets. And he'd be there for, like, two hours. And he'd go check a job. And That's then he'd is. come back, like, three hours later. And I'd still be there. So I don't have memories of him like not being there. Yeah, no, he cared about. It. He cares about yeah. like, those things, and and he makes time for it. Yeah, he understands the elasticity of time, as we've talked about in other yes. videos. See, you don't want someone next to you, guys. You don't want someone next to you complaining to you about how hard you work, um, how much you spend on materials, how much you spend on effort, right? On online on painting or whatever you don't need someone next to you telling you that you don't need your mom telling you that you don't need your dad you don't need your spouse telling you that you, you need to, somebody you need to, who's gonna like push you to and if you live with someone like that them. you need to handle them right you need to handle them you need to tell them you need to tell them straight out straight up sound cool huh? straight up straight you gotta up. no you nope. gotta tell them um <laughs> like, i gotta i gotta run for this yeah right? you gotta you gotta tell them look I know that you maybe don't understand this. Maybe you think you do or whatever. But right now, I'm after something. And I need your full support. Mm -hmm. Okay? Because it's already hard. Let me see people are watching me. It's already hard enough to show up. Mm -hmm. It's already very hard. And it's not because you don't want it. It's because you're not conditioned. Right. It's the conditioning. that I've talked about in other many other videos. So it's already hard to show up. Right. You know? You wake up, you had a bad dream, I don't want to paint. You wake up because you're working for yourself, right? Or maybe maybe you work somewhere else and then you paint for yeah, part time. That's what you did in the beginning. And and and, and you work you paint for part time and, and, and you're complaining about the day. You know, you're like, Oh, I can't paint today because today at work this happened and that happened and then you're you're carrying the negativity. Mm -hmm. So then you don't yeah. show up because you have to be right up here. Right. People think that, oh, you have to be a good artist. No. You don't have to be a good artist. You have to be right up here. And then the rest will follow. Like you have to have the right mindset. Yeah. You know? So if you have people next to you complaining and telling you, no, dude, slow down. Come down. You're working too much. Why did you stay up so late working? You know? If you stay up late and then you you don't wake up early, maybe you shouldn't be doing that. But if you stay up late and then and then you still wake up early, then that's what you got to do. Right. I don't know. You know, wherever depends where you are. Right. So... Hey, how's it going? Uh, Plasm, Vein, Haidarsh, uh, Havan. What is this one? Giddish, Giddishad, 54. How's it going? Hi. Uh, three, a three. A, a three T. Oh, guys, you guys got to come up with like simpler names, please. <laughs> <laughs> I know I always have such a hard time pronouncing them too, but it's kind of fun to figure it out. Yeah. It's like when you're looking at um, license plates uh -huh. and you're like trying to figure out if there's like a message in the license plate, right? Yeah. I also too, I think you and I, well, you and I have been doing a lot of reading and audiobooks, and we've been talking, I think that when a lot of people ask, the one thing I hear from people that know us, close to us and not close to us, they always, like, people would, I remember I was at a dinner and um, 
someone I had just met said, and what about you and your, uh, your husband? Uh, do you guys, you, do you guys have a good marriage? Do you guys get along? It was like women. So women were obviously asking each other, you know, I think we're more personal, even though it might be, you yeah. know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So anyways, um, the, I didn't even have to answer back and the resounding was, oh no, they actually really like each other. They love being around each other. And they, they're like those rare people that you meet that they, like, they really get along and they vibe with each other. And I think that when I think about how people view us and what I think makes us work in terms of working together. Yeah. And it's not to say that it hasn't been hard because you and I have argued about stuff to get to the... Plenty. To get to the She's arguing with me. I don't argue. ...of what it is. But I think we've built a foundation where the goal is the same. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Like, we've built a foundation of, like, like the end game. Yeah, totally. Is, it, we have, like, a very, like, the foundation of, of how we see our life, how we see life with our child, how we see family life, work life. We've hashed it out in such a way that, like, the end goal is there. It's not defined by how we get there. I think yeah. we're open to how... The journey takes us, but the yeah. overall goal mission yeah, is I don't, very, I, I don't is think very we, singular. In terms I don't, of, but you and I agree on that. Yeah, we don't care if we get there by airplane, boat, if we have to swim there, if we get there by car, we're right. going to get there. Right. You know, that's really what matters to us. And I think that's why it never bothers me when you're, when, like, there's some nights where you're like, are you going to go to bed? And I'm like, dude, I got to finish this. I'm here till like 2 a.m. Yeah. And you're like, okay, I, yeah, I get it. And you'll go to bed early. And there's just nights where you're like, where I'm like, are you going to go to bed? And you're like, I got, I have to. Mm -hmm. And so, or, or we stay up together and we work on, we work on whatever we're working on. Yeah. And whatever orders have to go out. Cause that's usually, if you're stuck up, it's, stuck awake you're yeah. usually helping me pack it yeah it's not because we're trying to be productive it's because we're trying to finish cycles yeah as i talked about it in other videos um finishing cycles and i think that that's always helpful because i think that um there may be push and pull in other things or how it's done or what it looks like or whatever but i think the overall end because we know that okay we both agree that the a b and c has to happen all the time like we always have to get orders out or we always have to have so much so many paintings or whatever. I think that that doesn't shift. So that we're always able to kind of yeah stay uh, in on the same pace. Yeah, yeah, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. Totally, totally. But you know, I mean, it's it, regardless of how you do it, regardless of how you do it, guys. Uh, you need that support there, regardless of how you do it. If you're doing it alone, if like you're like playing the whole solopreneur artist BS. And I call it a BS because you can only go, you can only go so far with that, guys. You, you're gonna start needing people to support you, whether it's physical or emotional support. You're gonna start needing that. You're probably gonna need both. You're gonna start needing people around you, rooting for you, and and if you start going on your on your journey with your <laughs> with your artwork more. Uh, more serious, you're gonna start needing some uh, some real support. Yeah, you know, some real support. You're gonna start needing help. People, people to help you ship. People to help you. Uh, I don't know. Get edit your videos if you're into mm -hmm. that. You know, mm -hmm. marketing your stuff. And I'm not talking about delegating it to someone because people automatically want to do that. They're like, oh, if I just delegate this, then I then I'll paint more or I'll have time to paint. Like, no, you're gonna wear all the hats first. You yeah, know? when it comes to getting it out there, like getting the product done. But I, I you're read gonna need this, help, but you're, gonna, but you're not going to delegate right away. I read this. Well, I didn't read it. I listened to this really great book. And you subsequently listened to it, too, because it was so loud that you didn't have a choice. But yeah. Malcolm Gladwell's Outliers yeah. talked a lot about this, about how it the road to success isn't done alone. That many times, there's all times, there's always factors and people that... You know, help you along the way, and you don't even realize the importance that they play yeah. in you getting there until you know, w until you have perspective. You yeah. know, enough time passes by to say, "Oh, well, that was really significant. That was part of my ten thousand hours that I didn't even know I was doing right. at the time." Right. And and start getting around players that want what you want, mm -hmm. or that are higher in the in, in the success. Right. 
scale. And I'm not talking about, I didn't go like this because there's no such thing as that. Like, don't kid yourself. There's such thing as that, a success. But it's just, it looks different for all of us. You know, more power to you if you see it a certain way or whatever. But what I mean is that you want to get to, you want to get around players that are doing things that you want to do. Yeah. That are already doing things that you want to do. Why? Because they know the way. They yeah. know the path. Yeah. Like, like don't start hanging out with people who are, and I'm not saying like, don't be friend or whatever. You know, I mean, I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about like spending time, substantial time. With people that are mentors or people that want... Right. That want the same, that like have similar goals so that you can see how they're getting there and learn from it. Yeah, if you're, already, if you're already putting in, you know, three, four hours a day of work, right. don't hang out with the guy or the girl who's like, like complaining about not having enough time to paint. Right. You know, right. like I'm not saying don't be their friend. Maybe they're your best friend. I don't know. Just don't hang out so much because you're going to start thinking the same way. Oh, you're mirror start, neurons. Those yeah, are real. Yeah, you're going to start thinking about Google it. Google mirror neurons. Those are very real in terms of how we work and how... Um... Yeah, you're going to start thinking about... You two are going to start feeling like, oh, man, maybe this person's right. You know what? You know why? Because we're... There's standards. There's standards. If my wife told me, dude, you're working so much, it's impossible, then she's going to... Like, if she's seeing me right here, then she's going to work less. Mm-hmm. You know, and if she works less, and I'm not talking about like 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 putting hustle and muscle. No, I'm just talking about like like support. Then then I'm gonna be like, maybe she's right. Maybe yeah. she's right. There's been maybe times right. where I'm like, oh, he's lifted the bar, and I know that because you've lifted the bar. Right. Whether it be like hustle muscle or commitment to our business or what or, you know like. Commitment to our partnership. I'm like, oh, he's lifted the bar. So now I have to lift the bar. Yeah. I have to meet him there. And I think that that's always the most exciting, uncomfortable part of, our, of working together and yeah. loving together. Yeah. Is being like, oh, okay, he lifted the bar. And I have to... Silky smooth. I have to meet. I have to now. I have to push myself there. Yeah. And it's a challenge because it feels so uncomfortable. Like, I told you that I'm reading that self-help book that I'm reading. And I just... My body is so uncomfortable that I know I have to do it. Yeah. You want to you wanna be right here yeah and you want your your the people you're looking at to be like way up here so that so they're like yeah this is the norm and you're like what okay maybe you're right maybe you're right maybe you're right maybe you're right as opposed to you you're you're a badass yeah you paint a lot you're great you you exhibit a lot you know and then and then you're like the the big the big fish and your rest of your friends are are, are like down here in in terms of hustle muscle Mm mm-hmm you're going to start making your game softer. They're going to soften you up. You, this is very true, guys. Believe it or not. I don't know what to tell you. Because, because they are your standard. That's why people that are, that are doing more and they're hustling and whatnot, they hang out now with people that are doing less. At least the same and more than what they're doing. Yeah. Because you start believing it. If, if if I go and check out, you know, Coons or... or <laughs> I say Coons because he's, you know... Uh, active right if any of those artists that are extremely active in in terms of their studio and whatnot you know and putting their their work out uh into the market i'm gonna start believing that whatever i'm doing is 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 very little in comparison to them so my game naturally that's why you want to hang out around them yeah because my game is going to start lifting because it creates awareness for where it you creates gotta awareness pick up. you don't know what you don't know until someone shows you right you don't know what you don't know you know, you may think that you're, you're, oh yeah, 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 I'm, a, I'm an artist. I heard these people telling, saying to each other, like, I don't, I can't put the brush down, you know. Oh man, you got a rest. Oh, I don't know how to put the brush down. And then I was like looking at how much they create work, you know, because I was being like. Nosy. Nosy, I think I, <laughs> I think I, I, I. You were being judgy. I was being judgy. I was like, oh man, these people must be working hard, right? And, and then you were I like, see, I gotta go see their hustle. Yeah, I gotta go see their hustle because they were, they were speaking about how, how, how they couldn't put the brush down and they had to put in the time in the studio. And I was like, oh man, I wanna be friends with them. Let me see. And they had like no production, you know? And it's like, you know what I mean? No production. It's like no production, like no body of work, no really, you know, no work. Do you think that when you see that, it, it's more, it's not, maybe they're, do you think that when you see that, it's more that they're trying to create an idea of mm-hmm. an artist and not necessarily the career of an artist? And so the idea there's is so much, a difference. Yeah, the idea, the idea is easy, you know? 
Um, did you find that you had to battle that yeah. yourself? Yeah. It's because it it, it it depends to who you're with, who you're hanging with. Right. If right. I'm hanging out with someone who's like, who's always telling me, man, you, you, you paint so much. Man, you're doing so great. Mm -hmm. I'm going to start lifting myself up in the negative way. Right. I'm going to start going, yeah, yeah. Because now you're comparing yourself with that guy or girl. Right. You right. know? So you think you're the king of the world. When really, when really, you know, you're the big fish in the little pond. I was just going to say that. Yeah? You were going to? Yeah? Yeah. yeah. Um, yeah, you're the big fish in the little pond. I said it yeah. first. <laughs> I'm so competitive. He really is. And, and you know, and that's the problem. But that's yeah. what works. You're really competitive and I and I let you I let you be competitive. Oh, you were going to say you let me win, huh? <laughs> She's going to say she lets me win. What well, the like, hell? I just don't try to be, like, I don't try to compete. Because you let me win. Yeah, you're the king of the roost. Smart woman, huh? Yeah. Smart woman. I let you win in arguments. Yeah, you do. Because I'm, I'm the not... queen of this castle. Yeah, you are. <laughs> yeah, guys, guys, here's a little piece of advice. There ain't no arguing with mama. She wins. She has to. If you win, you know you, you just lost. <laughs> Her son the other day you was, know like, you just lost. was like, Dad, your day don't is, argue Your day with... is ruined if, if you win. <laughs> He's like, Dad, don't argue with mom. She's always right. Remember? Yeah. <laughs> he knows. He's so smart. He's only, he's only, he's only, what, 10 now? Yeah. Super smart. But to be fair, I don't take advantage of it. No, I know. You're good about that. Yeah. I don't take advantage of it. Just a little bit. <laughs> but that made me laugh. Dad, don't argue with mom. She always wins? She always, she's always right, he said. So there you have it, guys. I hope that we brought any value to you guys. If you guys feel like we brought any value, uh, I don't know, give us some hearts. We yeah, send us in some questions. Like, I feel like I want to hear about other people's lives, too. And then... I don't want to share about people's lives. I just want to hear about mine. No, I'm no. just joking, guys. Yeah, share it. Share, share guys. We want, to, we want to know. Like, I want to hear about your your um, life with your partner and how you guys work together. Are they being supportive? Like, Are they hating on you? Send Are they us, telling send you us, don't like, work anymore? We can, we can help you negotiate support. Yeah, right? Yeah, like, yeah. if it's, especially if it's somebody you really, like, you're just... You're you're in a committed relationship. They love you. You love them. They have like, how do I, your thing. How do I convey to them that I'm like committed, that this is real, that they can trust me, that I can take this journey? Because well, all of it is about like trust, right? Like like I trust that you're gonna do work and that you're gonna provide. Well, let me let me but let me let me let, let me step in right here yeah. real quick, guys. Sometimes it's really hard for. Okay, here's one. Sometimes it's really hard for an artist to listen to the inner voice. In the noise of the world. Oh, yeah. Of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Totally. I but mean, it, even as not an artist, I think as people, we're always... Yeah, you're not good enough. Um, That's what you keep telling yourself. Yeah, we're always trying you're, to you're filter out um, the the negative static, I think, that holds us back. Yeah, you, I you, agree. You've been hearing your whole life that you're not good enough or, or some pompous ideas of you're going to be great, but then they don't back it up with... with, with um, Flown power to you. It's just verbal. It's just like, oh, like mommy and daddy, you know, you're gonna be great. I just know it. But then they don't, they don't, they don't discipline you. They don't make you uncomfortable. You know what I mean? No, totally. That happens a lot for most of us, anyways. But guys, I wanted to step in really quick with what she was saying. If your partner hasn't bought into your 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 vision, your dream, your thing, don't blame them. Okay, it's not their fault. Now, they may be a little negative or this or that or whatever, but it is not their fault. People do not jump on things that don't look steady. Yeah. Would you jump yeah, on a boat that didn't um, have sails and you're going to go sail across the ocean? Hell no. Yeah. You don't jump on anything that doesn't look steady. Most rational people don't. Yeah. So if you're like, today I'll paint, three days later I won't. I'll, I'll just complain about my day today. I don't know. Should I become an artist or should I just follow my architect, you know, blah, blah, blah career? Or should I do something else? Or should I go into something else? And you're kind of playing around. You're being wishy-washy. Those are the parts. Those are the times that I think I've gotten the most upset. Yeah. When of course, you've been anyone. like, oh, mm, I don't know. I think I'm going to sit uh, here and cry. Mm, I've done that. I'm real. I'm a real guy. The, the analogy I, or the, it, Example I always tell you is that you are the master of our ship mm -hmm. and you have to sail it. You have to tell me in what direction we're sailing. Nobody wants to jump on something what that is wishy-washy, guys. 
So if your partner's like, I don't know, maybe you should keep your steady job. Most likely, I don't know if this is, I don't know your story. Well, that story. would be the responsible thing to do, right? Most likely, your partner doesn't see you serious. If your partner sees you serious, all of a sudden you're like, you're like, you become someone else. Because in order to get something, you have to become someone else. Mm -hmm. In order to become a marathon runner, mm -hmm. right? You got to become someone else. You can't be the same guy who sits there or girl and eats Doritos and and watches eight hours of TV well, and, and drinks those big sodas and then be like, and I'm a marathon runner. No, you have to be someone else. So if you don't become someone else, people won't trust you. That's the uncomfortable part. And I think this is what we talked about, which goes back to Dakish's um, question is that it's hard to drown out the noise. But the way that we drown out the noise is by making different choices. You yeah. and I were actually talking about this in the car is that you start making different choices that give you better outcomes. And all of a sudden you're eliminating the static and the negative noise because you're getting positive reinforcement and reward. Yeah. And, and you're constantly making choices. We are. Whether, whether we they, they're good or the bad time. for you, we're constantly making choices. The thing is that we don't most, solidify choices. And most of the time the choices seem benign. Yeah. They seem like they're not going to have an impact yeah. at all whatsoever. But they're the most important. The most but crucial. But sometimes you. they're the most important. Right. You're burning your time. Right. That's one of them. That's the main one, actually. You're burning your time. <laughs> and when we burn our time. <laughs> Sorry about are, that, guys. The, 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 the guy who makes the phrase <laughs> for me. It's oh. probably here. So you're, you're, burning your, you're burning your time. And if you're burning your time, what happens is that you don't even realize. It's like a thief. Right. You know? A thief comes and rubs your time and then you end up in the day, at the end of the day, you're like, I, I didn't have time to paint. I couldn't call that person. I didn't do this. I didn't do that. It's not because you didn't have time. It's because you made a conscious or unconscious choice to not utilize every single second of your time, of your day. Yeah. Whatever time you're awake, right? You have eight hours awake or whatever. Well, not eight hours awake, but let's say you, you, you run your other things in eight hours. You go to sleep eight hours and then you work your art. And you know what I mean? Yeah. For eight hours or six hours or whatever. And if you don't compress it and utilize it, as I've talked about in many other videos, a thief is going to come and steal it. Yeah. You know, a thief named Facebook, a thief named news, a thief named uh, your mind deaths, your personal thoughts, your, your you were upset at something. Someone made you upset, you know? Oh, someone made me upset. I'm going to cry. And I'm, my the rest of my day is, you know, ruined. I'm going to go outside and smoke. And I'm going to go to the bar tonight and think about the shit that's going on in my life. It's BS. It's all this negative stuff. You know? You yeah. got to pull it out. You got to... Well, that was one of the hardest... An exorcism. Uh, you got to pull it out. That was one of the hardest <laughs> lessons for me because we're emotive creatures. Yeah, right? yeah. We're totally emotional. And I think that was the hardest thing for me to realize is that... And I and I know that I use this term all the time. And I think my family, my, my siblings hate it. But I always tell them, don't rely on feelings because feelings are fleeting. Because, like, you could be really upset about something right now in this moment. And if I make you laugh, yeah. you're going to, like, that feeling is You'll gone. cry and laugh. You're like, oh. You know, and then you're like, oh, okay. And I think sometimes we give so much power to that fleeting feeling that it stays longer than it than it normally would because it has extra power to stay there. And then you then make choices from that feeling place as opposed to being like, I feel this. It's real. I feel it for the second, but it's fleeting. Mm -hmm. In maybe an hour, I'm going to feel a little bit different. And or maybe in a day or whatever, whatever your time period it's is, dumb. you it's can dumb. acknowledge it. And then you cut you then you power through. And I think that that's I think once I started telling myself, oh, this is just a feeling and it's fleeting and I'm going to power through. Yeah. I was I gained like a different level of maturity, I think, in how yeah. I tackled my work day and how I tackled things that had to happen. It's lack of commitment. You're well, you're committed, but you're committed to your feelings. Yes. You know, you're not committed to your yeah. outcome, to your goals, to your vision, to your art career. You're committed to your feelings. And right. it's dumb. It's dumb. But it's it's not because it's not because I'm not saying that we're dumb. It, the, the thing is dumb itself because we don't know. If you don't know something, you're going to keep doing the same thing that you were raised to do. Yeah. What more, most of us are raised to do is, oh, that's uncomfortable. Oh, we start screaming at each other. Uh, you know? If, you know yeah, what I mean? We're not taught to stay in discomfort. The person, or to work through discomfort. The person that mm -hmm. keeps their head level, mm -hmm. you know, and yeah. doesn't lose their shit, doesn't lose their mind, is the one that wins. Will always win. Mm -hmm. Why? Because the, the world could be burning... 
And and I remember that movie Goya's Ghost. Oh, yeah. It, it showed me a piece of what an artist of that caliber acts like. Yeah. The world was burning around him. He, he had Goya, right? That movie Goya's Ghost. Yeah, there was a scene where like, it's physically burning. Yeah, right? because the Inquisition and whatnot is happening, right? right. I'm talking about the romantic painter Francisco Goya. And 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 he he's sketching. Like he continues his work. Shit. Right? Even though things are not are, are in horrible conditions around him. Right. Right? Emotional right. for him. You know, at some point he kept a, a, a well, it shows in the movie, right? He had like a firearm in the house. He was like a, a bit paranoid because mm -hmm. people were 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 committing crimes. Yeah, and, and, yeah, and looting. Looting yeah. and all mm -hmm. that. And, but he was still creating artwork. Right. Here's another example. Okay, another Spanish. I think the Spanish knew what to do. I mean, <laughs> sometimes. Uh, Picasso. There's a story about him when the 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 the, the Franco years. Uh, oh yeah, those were real. Spain. Spain was was also during the, Spa during the Spanish during the Spanish Civil War. The Spanish Civil War. Right. Spa and World War Two. Yeah. They kind of like. Yeah. Merge somewhere. Yeah, Spain was going like bullets were flying through his studio, mm -hmm. and and uh, there was a war happening where where his studio was around it, right? And he kept, you know, how many paintings he produced that day? He produced five large paintings that day, mm -hmm. and the only reason he left is because a few, uh, I don't know if one or a few bullets flew through his through his window. Mm -hmm. And he's like, oh, okay, well, it's time to leave. Yeah. So he goes to another studio nearby. He gets the canvases. They put them in a little truck or whatever, and they go to another studio nearby. And it wasn't because he thrilled the, 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 the danger or whatever. It's because he's committed. Same thing, a person that, that runs marathons or whatever, they're not going to be like, oh, today I don't feel like it. No. They, they may be like, like Katy Perry. Yeah. There's another marathon runner. I call them marathon oh runners. My gosh. They're high performance people. That's really yes. what they are. So she she got the boards, not something like that. Her like husband, he told that her. Left her. This is how you, this is how you know that I watched this documentary about her music or whatever because I was I love telling Katie him Perry. I watched it on like Netflix or something. I don't yeah. remember. Yeah. But um, yeah, he sent her a text message that he wanted a divorce. Like five minutes before her big Rio de Janeiro concert, he's like, "What? What would be a good time right now for him, not for her?" And she cried, and then out of out of nowhere, she was like, "On stage!" And I was like, "Holy crap! I, that's a power performer." Oh, nice. These people yeah. are very uh, high performance people. They're very they're very strong. They're very very strong. Well, and that's what we try to mimic. Right when we're when we're creating artwork when we're doing that we we hope to be a high performance person someone who who doesn't get their carried away by their feelings. Right? Well, I just want you to know that I thank you for always raising the bar, and I promise to be committed to always raise the bar with you. See what I'm talking about, guys. All right, our time's up. Thank you guys. so much. Thank you so much. World's greatest living artist. Have a happy yeah. Thursday for those of you who don't have to work Veterans Day, which is tomorrow. Um, enjoy the three day weekend. We will be working, but it'll still be, we don't have the long drive to school. So, yeah. so happy Veterans Day. Look at all those hearts. Thank you guys. Thank you so much, guys. We love the hearts. Love you guys so much. Create, 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 and then show us what you made. Yeah. And, and hang out with people that raise the bar or have their high, the, the bar higher, guys. Yeah. Don't don't try and, to be the savior. It's not always good. And, I'm not saying don't help not, people. But. And if they're not willing to raise the bar, raise it yourself. Because eventually, they'll either fade away or they're going to raise it with you. Yes. Yes. Take All care, right, guys. guys. Bye. Adios.